All right, so let's go ahead and get started because I have a lot of palettes to go through. So this is the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I love all these, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I haven't used all the shades in here, but kind of mainly use like just a few of the mattes and then some of the shimmers, but I do really like my Lorac palette, so I'm gonna keep this one. So this is the original Lorac Mega Pro palette. I'm gonna also keep this one. This one I have not even touched. How sad is that? But I do wanna keep it. I'm not gonna get rid of it at this point, but maybe down the road if I don't use it, I will. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. This one, I haven't really touched either, but I do wanna keep this one. I do plan on keeping it. So all of my Lorac palettes I'm keeping. This is the Kat Von D Metal Matte palette. I haven't used all of the shades in here. I've used it a few times, but I do really like it, so I'm going to so I am going to keep this one. It's just... All right, so this is a customizable MAC palette. And I haven't touched these a whole lot. I need to pull this out. Um, as you can see, I don't have very many MAC shadows. <laughs> I think I have like a few others besides these in a different palette. I actually depotted them from like the compacts. So they didn't really magnetize in here too well. So I just don't buy too many MAC products, but um, I do want to keep all these. I do like all these shades. Okay, so this is the Urban Decay Vice palette. I don't know which Vice palette this is. Is it the original? I thought I got rid of the original. Oh, I can never remember. But this one, I think I do want to keep this one for now. I'm going to have to reevaluate my eyeshadow palettes after I do this declutter might declutter more in the future, but as of right now, I'm gonna keep this one. So this is the Smashbox Wonder Vision Mega Palette. This came out probably two, three years ago, and I have never touched this palette, but I've heard it's amazing, so I do not wanna get rid of it. I actually wanna pull it out and use it. The packaging is really heavy, and it just has a lot of beautiful colors in there, and also some blushes and a bronzer. So I'm gonna keep this one. All right, this is the Sephora Plus Pantone Universe palette. It looks like a laptop. It's so pretty. I love the packaging on this. I have never touched this palette. This is the eyeshadow collector in me. I buy like lots of new eyeshadow palettes and I don't always use them just because I have so much makeup. It's kind of ridiculous, I know, but you can call me an eyeshadow collector, <laughs> hoarder, whatever. But I think I'm gonna keep this for now. Don't worry guys, we will be getting rid of some palettes. Don't you worry. All right, this is the Alice Through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. I don't like the packaging on these, it's so bulky. I might depot these if I decide to keep it anyways. But these are all the colors. I do like the shades in here, so I do plan on keeping this for now. It has a lot of neutrals, which I do like, and then it has some pops of color as well. So this is another Urban Decay palette. It's the Oz, the Great Powerful Oz palette from the Wizard of Oz collection. This I have never used and I think I'm going to pass this along. Shadows are really pretty. I have never used any of them but I think I'm going to go ahead and sell this. I haven't used it this far so I think it's just time to sell it. So this will eventually go on a vlog sale. So this is from the Balm Cosmetics. It's the Bon Voyage, Balm Voyage palette. I got this from Hot Look towards the end of last year at some time. I've never used it, so I'm gonna keep this palette. The colors just look really pretty in this palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. So this is the Too Faced Everything Nice palette. It was limited edition. It has some brushes here that I've never used, has some blushes and a bronzer, and then it has these eyeshadows here that I have used. I have used this palette several times, but I think I'm ready to go ahead and pass this on, guys. So this one I'm gonna put in a vlog sale as well. Here's another Urban Decay Vice palette. I really wish they would write what number these are because they came out with so many Vice palettes, I don't know which one is which particular name. So these are the shades in here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this one. I really like this row right here, but other than that, I just think because I'm not gonna use all the other shades, I probably should sell it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. And then this one actually says it's the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Packaging's beautiful. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one as well. All right, so this is the Balm Nude Tude palette. 
I don't really care for this palette too much to be quite honest so I just never really used it. I have used it maybe a couple times and I just wasn't loving it so I'm going to pass this one along. Sell it on a vlog sale. So here's another Urban Decay palette. This is the Theodora palette from the Wizard of Oz collection. So here are all the eyeshadows in there. I've never touched them. I'm going to go ahead and sell this as well. This is the Urban Decay Smoked palette. Comes in this zip up little palette. I'm going to sell these as well. I've used it maybe a few times and I just never reach for it. I don't do a lot of smoky eyes, so I'm going to sell this one. This is the Revealed palette by Coastal Scents. This comes with 20 eyeshadows. I just don't love this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. This one was in one of my boxy charms, and I do get those for PR purposes, so I'm not going to sell this. I'm just going to donate it to a friend. All right, so this is the Too Faced Loves Sephora limited edition palette. It's a celebration of 15 years in the beauty industry together. So it comes with the bronzers, a blush, and these eyeshadows. And it comes with a little primer. I don't know if I've even actually used the primer, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell this palette. I just never use it anymore. All right, so this is a Stila palette. And this is the 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. I think it was limited edition. These are all the shades in here. I just never use this. And I just don't plan on using it. So I'm gonna sell this. All right, this is a Tarte palette. It came in a holiday kit. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, but it was part of a holiday kit. It's very flat and it has a lot of shadows in here. Um, I have swatched a few of them, but I've never worn this palette and I don't plan on using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one. All right, so this is for from Too Faced. It's the Too Faced, a few of my favorite things palette. Limited edition, still have the bag. Never used this palette, guys. Call me crazy, call me crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. No point in keeping it. Haven't used it thus far, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> Don't plan on using it. And then here's another holiday Too Faced limited edition set. This is the Be Bright, Be Merry. Set. comes in the little bag and then it has the two separate palettes so that's that one and there's the second one I have used these but I just don't plan on using them so I'm gonna get rid of them this is the big old freaking Urban Decay Oof, I don't even know the name of this palette it is uh... I have no idea what this is called. Do you guys know? It's super bulky. You pull out the bottom. It came with like some gadgets and then like a liner and something else, maybe a gloss. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell this. The packaging is super bulky. So the top flips open. It has a mirror and then some butterflies. I don't know what this palette is called. I don't remember. It doesn't say on it. I'm just kind of over this palette, so I'm selling this. These are just like customizable palettes. These are from Flirt Cosmetics, all the eyeshadows in here. I got these at Kohl's. They used to sell them several, several years ago, every holiday season. Used to get like a big old pack of them. I think MAC Cosmetics makes Flirt eyeshadows or they're all from the same brand. So they are good quality eyeshadows, but I just never use these palettes. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is palette number one, more of the neutrals. And then this is, so this is the second palette that I have from them and it is the purples and pinky shades. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. All right. So I have some newer palettes here that I'm going to keep, but I just want to show you them. This is the Balm Appetit eyeshadow palette. It says eat your heart out. Super cute packaging. Those are all the shades. I do plan on reviewing this. I got it um, probably, I think it was Black Friday or something like that, Cyber Monday. And I've been testing it out. Um, I just need to use this coppery shade before I do my review, but I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Morphe Times Kathleen Lights palette. I do plan on keeping this one. I do like it. 
This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics Palette. I have not used this yet, but I did purchase it. I just have so many new eyeshadow palettes, but I think I'm gonna like it. I like all the shades in here, so. And I love mattes for putting in the crease. So this one I'm keeping. So this one is the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I have not used this yet. Got this around the holidays as well. I just haven't used it, but um, I think I'm gonna like the colors. But I'll have to see as far as the quality and pigmentation go. So this one I'm keeping. And this is the Tardis Pro Palette. I absolutely love this palette. It is gorgeous. It's very reflective. So I'm sorry that the lights are like shining on there on the gold part. But it's really pretty. I love all the mattes and the shimmers are awesome. And I love the color variety in here. So I'm going to keep this. Alright guys. So this is the... Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette. The eyeshadows are freaking huge in here. I have used it maybe twice. I just don't see myself using this a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell this. I haven't had it very long. And lastly for this video is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. This I am keeping. I do like this palette, so I do plan on keeping it. And my battery is about to die. I have a backup and that one was about to die. So I have to plug, I plugged that one in. So my camera is gonna die, it's flashing at me. So that's the end of this collection and declutter series. I have to go through my palettes one last time because I have since moved rooms from my old makeup room to this new room and my palettes, my palettes kind of got all mixed in the bunch. So I don't remember which ones I included in the previous palette videos and which ones I didn't. So I'm sure there's some more that I need to go through, but I just need to kind of go over them one more time before I film. I think it's part four of my palettes. This is part three, I think. Well, this time around, I'm not gonna sell them from this video. In the past, people emailed me and, you know, we discussed prices and everything like that. And it was very overwhelming, but I do appreciate all the sales that I got. So thank you guys so much but it was very overwhelming getting all the emails and it's just really hard with an 18, 18 month old trying to respond to everybody in a timely manner and trying to get all the stuff packaged and everything like that. So this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually film a separate video with all the items that I'm selling and I'm gonna put all the items in the description box with the name and the prices. That way you guys know if you want to purchase it at that price point or not or even if you wanna negotiate or something. So um, just wait for that video. I just ask that you wait for that video instead of emailing me this time around. I just wanna be a little bit more organized when it comes to selling the palettes and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys, have a great day, bye.